Hello and welcome to Eva Mark's Safe. Today it's all about interlocks. And in particular, I want to know what guard locking is all about. Yeah, so guard locking is going to be something like this. And guard locking does pretty much what it says on the tin. It's going to lock a guard closed. So you've got interlocks and that's what is um, sending a signal as soon as it's open, but a guard lock is going to hold that guard shut until it's safe to open. And what that usually means is that the machine has some kind of rundown time, um, so a saw or a mixer or something that's going to keep moving for some time after the power is removed. Um, and in that case, it will hold it shut until it's safe to go in. Unlike an interlock without guard locking, for example, this non-contact switch, which it's not got any ability to keep the gate shut, it just will shut down the machine as soon as the gate is opened. So when would I use guard locking then? Why wouldn't I just use one of those? So for safety reasons, you're going to have to use guard locking anytime there's a rundown time, anytime you'd be able to reach the hazard before it's safe. So if as soon as you open this, you could reach the hazard before it's safe, you have to use guard locking. But some of the other reasons you might want to use guard locking are things like process control, productivity. Some processes, if you open the machine, if you open the gate and stop the machine at random points in the cycle, you're going to have to throw away all that product. You're going to have some serious productivity issues. So you can use it to make sure it only shuts down at certain points in the cycle. You can use it to make sure only certain people are able to shut down the machine as well. So for access control reasons. So that sounds like I can protect my process. That's perfect.